Hi guys and welcome in the most amazing series I've ever done, part 9, and in this episode we will continue our campaign. But for those who think that this game is finished and we win, think again, because in this part there is another surprise that you need to discover. But first, let's speak about your, our current war with Syria, as his capital Damascus is under a huge attack of our navy and our land troops are advancing and starting to take lands there. After destroying all the coastal cities of Finland, he asked for peace and he gave me the right of way. For now, I don't have uh, more land troops to go for him, so yes, I accepted the peace with him and later I will rethink about that, but meanwhile, it's a good choice to accept peace with Finland. Let me first finish all of these vast lands, these French vast lands, because our, uh, my radar has still detecting a lot of land units there, like this in Strasbourg, but my artillery, my multiple rocket launchers will take care of it. This game isn't finished yet, because I need first to clean all the remaining forces uh, of France here in Europe. After that, um, we have another surprise that you need to attend for, and it is another war. I'm not going to speak about it, but I will let you think about it. You will not expect it, because this nation that I am going to engage in war later, I have never met in this game, we have we had no contact in this game, uh, it was a random, surprising, out of nowhere attack, okay? Later you will discover it, but now let's continue the taking of the lands and cleaning all these provinces for more points, more resources and we need to take them as fast as possible and we need to really finish this game and nail our perfect solo win. The city of Marseille is Angolian now, the historic and the beautiful uh, city of the south of uh, France. Now it is under our command. Started to take the lands in the Iberian Peninsula, starting with the city of Zaragoza and La Coruña, and the capital of Spain, Berlin. Uh, Madrid, sorry, sorry, it's Madrid. Berlin is the capital of Germany. Come on, don't say that I don't know about geography. No, I'm good in geography. And by the way, it's Conflict of Nations who taught me a lot about geography. Here is the table. France is still first, but between us is only eight points. So, in the new day, I will be the first. Finally, we will back in our normal spot. We worked so hard for it and we deserve it for sure. We continue our process of cleaning the north of Africa. Morocco, Algeria, all these lands. I need to make a lot of motorized infantries now. All my cities are producing motorized infantries because I need all of them to take lands. And of course, after uh, conquering any new land, we need to keep one motorized infantry there to maintain the stability and to prevent it from turning to rogue. So we will need a lot of uh, motorized infantry to continue this process. Our wide radar is detecting some units up north. And now I will advance and have a closer look for that. So this part of the video will be mainly about taking land, uh, cleaning provinces, killing the rogue in uh, rogue state in Europe, and of course nailing our bounty after this amazing long war against France and Europe. We will now try to use all our land forces to expand in the European uh, continent, because we all know that the French forces are finally destroyed. Uh, we destroyed all of them, even in the homeland city of France. Uh, the last forces there were destroyed by my artillery division. So now we can uh, peacefully roam all of Europe and take uh, the lands there. You see, I'm sending every city will receive one motorized infantry. Uh, like this, we can take more lands and more cities at the same time and so quickly. 
we will not lose time we need to uh, accumulate the points number and the points amount as soon as possible because the more longer it's uh, the, the game gets the more surprises and the unneeded surprises we will receive here also the uh, Syria is destroyed and officially is fallen now it was a quick attack but it was so efficient we destroyed him so shortly and in a uh, short time there well we didn't receive so much resistance from uh, Syria because uh, all, all of his land forces were near the sea and my ships has taken care of them that's the good thing about uh, playing against against Syria because it's almost all coastal and with only navy you can destroy four or five cities of it even the internal cities are close from the range of 100 so you can if you have ships with 100 you can reach your target easily now the turn to clean Italy and the capital Rome let's go to Venus and later the Balkans okay let's pay a visit to the city of Rutpa I will keep the capital Damascus the last and this is the surprise I was speaking about. This is another visitor, an unneeded visitor, an unwelcomed visitor who is coming here to pay us a visit. And this visitor is Colombia. I don't know what is he thinking about, I don't know what is he doing here, but he is landing forces to Africa and he already declared war on us. So, now I'm going to command all my helicopters and air force to Africa to intercept his uh, advancement there and my navy directly to the cities of Colombia. You see here it's 1824 points and I need left 26 points only but it's a new day so in this last day I will be at war. 100% at war it's my last day in the game and yet I can't keep it I can't spend it in peace I can't spend my last day in the game in peace another war with another opponent with another enemy I can't believe this game like seriously I didn't even expect for a second that Colombia will think about attacking me all of the game I didn't hear from him he didn't appear in the map he didn't attack he did nothing now Colombia is attacking me like seriously well um, it's not a serious army to be honest as far as I see now it's only uh, motorized infantries mechanized infantries and main battle tanks the main battle tanks are level 1 as I suppose and the uh, mechanized infantry is level 1 also so it's not a huge army that I should be afraid of to be honest but uh, we will see what will happen in this last day in this part we will now continue the process of taking lands at the same time i will mobilize my defensive units here i'm going to send uh, motorized infantry all of the uh, around the region of mauritania and mali and of course going to send my navy to his coastal cities he have a naval base level 5 in barranquilla well, that's, that's a surprise, huh? Okay, we will see what will happen. I like it, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I like wars in this game, and when it is heated up, the game is heated, I will be the happiest ever. I'm so satisfied, to be honest, in this game. Okay, I'm going to send all of the motorized infantries to the African front. That African front, the region of the African Sahara, has become toxic. Has become 
uh, zone, a war zone, like literally four, four or five, five wars in this area near Chad, Nigeria and Mali. Five wars and large scale wars, not like normal wars, they were big. First we started it uh, against Brazil and the United States and France and Finland and Syria and now Colombia, all in the same region. <laughs> Though, uh, I will continue taking the lands in Europe. I only need uh, 26 points. So... We will keep taking lands and at the same time, I will send the Navy, helicopters and land units to intercept the Colombian uh, armies that are advancing towards us. Here, we, I continue taking uh, Syria. The lands of Syria he has a lot of uh, max level uh, army bases there. Maybe it's for the theater defense systems. Yes, for sure. Okay, let's roam inside. Let's get to the city of Basra and the center of Iraq. Take as much provinces as possible. How much I love the combo of mobile anti-air and uh, multiple rocket launchers and one radar. It's so beautiful. Yes, it's so beautiful. You can't touch it. It is as simple as that. You cannot touch it. By the air, you will be protected by the mobile anti-air, by the land. Who can approach you when you have the multiple rocket launchers around you? But. It can be destroyed with only one thing, the cruise missiles. Yes, the cruise missiles will make a lot of damage for us because we don't use SAMs. If I had two SAMs in that stack, that would be perfect. Because like that, we will have protection against missiles. Florence. The city of Florencia. Our helicopters are on the way now, from all sides. And the Navy is sailing towards the Latina America. Okay, let's position our helicopters to start patrolling the area. The stack is going to move for the region of Germany and see what's left there. A lot of rogue states, I suppose. To be honest, everything is going smoothly and good so far. I'm not going to do a time lapse or skip, but I need to share the last day in the game with you second by second and minute by minute. Another time, Finland has declared war after I gave him peace. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but yes, I gave Finland peace. After empathy, I was just being empathetic and yes, he declared peace. That's why you should never be empathetic and never be kind in this game. They will use your kindness to attack you, to take advantage of you. So yes, hopefully I kept one stack there near the, near the uh, Baltic Sea. So, yep, I'm going to continue bombarding him from all these coastal cities he have. The annoying Colombia, the most annoying player in the history of the game. In the last day he is sending everything to me. Like what are the odds 
What are the odds of that? This is taking the lands of Tunisia, my homeland nation, Tunisia. Maybe the next series would be about Tunisia in an overkill map? Maybe, we will see. You can make your suggestions in the command section for sure and what kind of map you want us to play next time after the series of Angola. And uh, for sure, I will always uh, put your um, suggestions in consideration. Always. Because this work and these vlogs and these series are not for me, to be honest, are for my fans to learn more, to learn more strategies, more variety of troops, doctrines, all of the details. We will always make new videos and new details about everything. And now just uh, follow the process how to move our troops to the uh, war front where we will have an enemy who is attacking us, how we will move our pieces of chest there. I will uh, make another video about the finish of the war for sure. I'm not going, this is not going to be the last part of the series for sure. This is the part um, nine and we will make the part 10. And of course, uh, Colombia has landed in uh, Africa and he is advancing. You know that the main battle tank have a bonus in the desert and open lands. That's why he moved so fast through the African desert there. I'm going to, to move all my troops so fast. Here one motorized infantry in Tanji is going to be dead. Five level one main battle tank, three mechanized infantries. So yeah, I'm going to assemble them in the city of Fes, the Moroccan city of Fes. See, this is the other stack is coming. So one from the north, uh, from Morocco, one entering from Mali and one entering from Chad. And it is already in the center of Africa. Uh, that's how to be annoying in the game. Yes, that's how to be annoying. You, you, you enter from all the sides, though you, have, you know that you don't have a chance against the first player in the game. So, yes, let's annoy him. He is going for the solo win. It's a good time to annoy him and send him our stacks and keep him busy in his last day of the game for sure. Yes, let's annoy him. That's a good idea. Thank you, Colombia. Okay, so this is a good stack of four main battle tanks and five, uh, level four, five motorized infantries. The main battle tanks are so strong in the desert and upper lands. They have a bonus attack and also defense there. It reaches plus 50% in uh, open lands. And of course, it always depends on the doctrine. We will make uh, a video about the doctrines for sure. Uh, in the next time or after we finish uh, this series and I will explain all about the doctrines, the uh, Eastern, Western and European doctrines that are available in the game, the details, the statistics and everything about it. So yeah, in this part, uh, the resume of this part, we cleaned uh, a lot, a lot of regions in the center of Europe and we destroyed entirely Syria, we uh, finished all of his homeland cities there, uh, we accumulated a lot of points in this part, and the spotlight or the highlight of this part is the attack of Colombia, the unexpected attack uh, of Colombia on us. Um, it was prepared, it was prepared from before because he entered at the same time from both, from both sides, he north, Northwest and West, you see that he appeared in just seconds in all of the map. So yes, he was preparing for this attack in a while now. We will try to prevent him from advancing to us for sure. I'm not going to give him a chance to take lands from me. And more important than that, I will not be tolerant 
against this attack so I will use all my force to destroy it I'm going to position my um, infantry in the city of Bamako because 1% is going there to enter so I'm going to intercept his way from there meanwhile my helicopters will start assaulting and assaulting him until he falls Let's go for the level 5 of attack helicopters. It has 6 levels to be a max level. This is another stack. Another stack advancing. So except the main bottle tank and motorized infantry stack, another one of uh, 5 mechanized infantry and 3 or 4 motorized infantry. It is advancing from, the, from Niger in the central desert of Africa. Well, this is getting serious now. Four stacks are advancing from all sides at the same time. Well, mm, yeah, this is a little bit serious now and it's going to seriously annoy me so much in my last day in the game. So I thought that I will finish this so quickly. In a few minutes, I will finish him, blah, blah, blah. But no, no, Colombia isn't uh, playing around. He is advancing from no that I see so far and that appeared on the map. Four stacks, a variety of motorized infantry, main battle tanks and mechanized infantry are entering from all sides, but they are so weak against me because he don't have on tier. See, he don't have on tier. So he will be an easy target against my helicopters, but they are on the way to start the assault. But the little bad problem here that the mechanized infantry has good defensive abilities against helicopters yes they have good defensive abilities against helicopters that reach to uh, three points three hp points against helicopters so i will continue this war in the last part where we will engage colombia and start uh, taking down his stacks so, the last part would be, uh, the, 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 the next part will be the last part of our series Angola, so don't miss it, and I see you in the next and last part of our beautiful series with Angola. And I want to thank all my fans that followed this series, you are phenomenal. Goodbye.